Alright guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Extra from Team Extra. Yes, this is a sponsor video. Try our sponsor, Dubby. So, Dubby basically, in my best description I can give you after trying the product today, right? It is, a uh, very, it's kind of similar to Game Fuel pre-workout. It's very clear, it's very nice. And it does not give you the jitters. It even says it on here like this. But anyways, try Dubby. Dubby's our sponsor. They're slowly helping pay for our stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it is Team Extra, all caps, at checkout when you order a, uh, you know, Dubby product. But it's going to be 10% off the total purchase. And, like I said, order that shit. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It is Mr. Extra from Team Extra. As always, your boy, Mr. Extra himself, is playing Labyrinth on the left. This is another Locals. And my opponent, I believe, is playing Exosisters on the right. So let's get it. We're going to hit him with the classic set three, guys. You already know set three. We're going to open up those cheeks. He's going to hit me with Evilly Match. That's fine. I'm going to chain Lady after Evilly Match resolves because normal trap card in the rest of the turn. I can just special her whenever I want at that point. So, he's going to go ahead and read Lady and then and completely agree how disgusting Lady actually is. Necro Valley. Necro Valley, I main deck it so it does nothing. Fisher. He's going to go pack. He's going to pay that 800 smackers, right? He's going to go grab Martha. Martha Effect. Bring out the other one, then we're gonna go ahead and Karma Cannon. Karma Cannon 1, Lady 2. So, what are we setting with the old lady? We are setting a good old Welcome Labyrinth, and we're gonna flip everything down. Because we're gonna half funnel this. Alright, draw for turn. Let's see what we got. Set, flip the lady up. Welcome Labyrinth 1, Lady 2, I'm assuming. You can tell he's thinking about it. Could potentially Ash. I try to chain block with the lady. Okay. Okay. Does it go through? Though? That's the real question. He's thinking real hard. Let's see. Let's see. We end up asking about this because lady's effect is a quick effect. So basically, he can technically ash it here. Does he ash it though? He is going to ash it. Which is perfectly fine. I still get to get Lady's Effect because the trap card still got activated. So I sack and pulse. We're going to punch over Martha. And then pass it over to him. Alright, let's see what the Exo Sister player does. He already knows that I was getting ready to give him the work. I had another Karma Cannon face down. I was ready to run it. So, game one goes to Labyrinth on the left. Come on, you already know. Waifu deck, control deck, that is all up and down my alley, guys. By the way, for... Because it is uh, Thursday while I am editing this and everything. You guys should uh, watch the recap that's going to happen this Saturday. Where we're going to go down to Louisville and test our luck at another regional. Am I playing Lab? Maybe. Am I playing Biceal Sprite? You never know. Chances are it's probably lab, or I might drop out the spicy deck if I can get everything together, guys. So, just stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Anyways, we're getting ready to crap out this game, too. Check it out. I know you guys see that nice map with my name on it. There you go. Alright, he's gonna go Prospy. Four, six, or three, one or the other. He's gonna chain Shifter, too. That's cool. I use Shifter. I don't use Prospy, because I don't like my opponent seeing my hand or seeing what I'm gonna go draw. He goes Martha, he's gonna go on to McKaylee's, right? He's gonna get the McKaylee search. McKaylee's search is going to be good here from the looks of it. Looks like I'm just patiently waiting to ruin his day. He searches Returnia. And I believe he's gonna pass, so I'm gonna normal summon Ariana, effective Ariana. He's going to ash it. The disrespect. And we're just gonna set five. Because we're, we are crazy out here, guys. We are crazy out here. Alright, let's see how we do it. We're going to go D-Bearer. We're going to say XYZs, which will negate McKaylee's and, you know, prevent any follow-up off that Returnia. Alright. Okay. We're going to Ghastly Glitch. We're going to pop. He's going to go Returnia. 
Now Returnia, apparently he's able to do some stuff with it, but he can't do the full thing. So he's just gonna do a trade. And he's gonna pop my uh, other D barrier. Um, Ghastly, dump back Jack, and then we get the Ariana effect going too. So it was a uh, back Jack one, Ariana two, so I drew a card, then I do back Jack effect, which it looks like is a welcome labyrinth, and this is all during his turn. Because, I mean, we're a trap deck that plays on your opponent's turn. We're not trying to give him any type of rim. So it goes back to my turn. I extract here. He has no... He has no field. So can I kill him? Put out my field spell. I'm gonna punch. He's gonna frost me on his turn. Our game was actually rather fast, guys. I'm not gonna even cap. Frost me for three. He's gonna grab the pack. So he's gonna go pack. He's gonna pay the eight. I'm gonna grab Martha. He's trying, you can tell he's trying to get floating, but I'm just not gonna let him do it. Okay, he's gonna go Martha. Martha effect. I'm gonna go Rivalry, locking him in the Spellcasters because his extra deck is all Warriors. I believe it's Warriors, yeah. And Ariana is the same. Same thickness as Martha over there, so I'm gonna put her in the fence because he can't, he just straight up can't body Ariana off any of the main deck monsters. She's too thick in the back. So I'm just gonna rivalry lock him and then hang out, make him suffer a little bit, you know. You know how trap deck goes. Make him suffer, we're gonna compulse Ariana effect, draw that card, special summon the lady that I drew off the Ariana effect. And then we're essentially just going to push it all in, and then he's going to concede right here, and this is going to be game.